Today is Friday, December 8, 2023. I'm Pastor Michael, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Our text is from Luke 1. Zechariah asked the angel, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is well along in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens, because you do not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. Luke 1, verse 18 to 20. There is something marvelous about how Luke tells this story. Clearly, these are extremely significant events. God sends out his angels to ensure that we understand just how crucial these things are. Yet, it is also clear that, despite the lack of human cooperation, God is enjoying himself. It is good for our faith to know this. Preachers tend to be hard on doubters like Zechariah and Thomas. But the truth is, many, if not most, of us Christians have found ourselves in a spiritual place like Zacharias. Let's consider his life for a moment. He and Elizabeth are introduced as righteous, observing the Lord's commands and decrees blamelessly. Let's not be cynical about this description, but read it considering Psalm 42. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Where can I go and meet with God? Through the long years of their lives, they had desired to be faithful to God. As a priest, Zechariah would have counseled many in the ways of righteousness and encouraged the faith of many doubters. Often, this couple would have prayed that God fulfill that essential creational and covenantal blessing of human fruitfulness. One can imagine, as so often happens in our own lives, these prayers, once fervent, had become listless. Prayers, once uttered in expectant faith, were now shrouded in doubt. Zechariah means, the Lord remembers, Elizabeth, my God is an absolutely faithful God. But as month after month went by, with always the same disappointment, it was difficult to remember. Sure, Sarai was ancient when she had conceived, but in those days God was in the habit of dropping in for afternoon tea. And now, well, no one had heard from him for about 400 years. Things are different. Isn't that how we end up in doubt as well? What have you prayed for month after month, year after year? Some of you for a child, others for the return of one, or for a job that is meaningful, financial security, peace in your home? At first, we thirst for God, but as the silence stretches through the years, our faith, like an elastic band, either stretches till it breaks or becomes old and brittle with no stretch at all. We doubt, and our ears cannot hear God. We certainly do not expect anything from him anymore. We understand Zechariah. And this is where God gets cheeky. When the old priest says, I am an old man, the angel replies, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. My I trumps your I, old man. And then, and I paraphrase, you appear to need some time to remember that God is faithful. Your voice will be silent so you can hear God's. Sure, there is rebuke in what Gabriel says, but also humor and irony and the gospel. Despite Zachariah's doubt, God's plan will carry on. Be silent and think on that. Just be quiet for a while and watch God work. As Advent begins, Gabriel speaks, challenging the cynicism and despair under our masks of piety with a bold assertion no matter how dry and barren our world or our soul may feel today, salvation is in the works. Zechariah was old and full of doubts, yet God used him. This priest no longer expected a blessing from God, let alone salvation for Israel. With a twinkle in his eye, the Lord says, watch me. To those of us who struggle with doubt, Gabriel says, God will have his way and it will be good and full of joy. Thus, though you walk in darkness, may you see the great light. Though you live in a land of deep shadows, may you see light, sunbursts of light. May God increase your life, expand your joy. May you be glad in his presence. 
May God give you the joy of a great celebration, sharing rich gifts and warm greetings. It's care of Isaiah 9, 23.